Okay, this is, is basic kind of understanding percentages. The, the question is simple. Uh, we should be able to do this without any sort of strategy. If you are increasing something by 43%, it's going to be 100% of what we had, 100% of W plus another 43%, which ends up being 143%, which is represented by choice A. So many of you, for many of you, that's just intuitive. There's another way we can think about it though. It's using the version of the open formula that I made up that uh, deals with a percentage change. So O stands for the original amount. In this case, the original amount that we have is the W. One plus or minus P represents the change in percentage. And here, uh, it's the best part of this formula is it's very intuitive with the way that the, the question will be worded. They're telling it's telling us we're increasing by 43%. So increase means plus and 43%, we just need to write that as a decimal, but otherwise we just put it in there. And then the new amount is kind of what the answer choices represent. So here, if we just clean this up, right? One plus 0.43 is 1.43 and then times W. So we don't even need any sort of number here to, to kind of see what's gonna happen. So there again is our answer. But if you're still unsure, we could arithmetize here right? We're asked to increase a positive quantity W by 43%. If that bothers you, then just make W a number, right? And what's a great number to work with when you have percentages? How about 100? Because then we don't even really need the calculator, right? What does it mean to increase 100 by 43%? Well, what is 43% of 100? It's 43. So 100 plus 43%, just kind of intuitively, is 143. Now, we just take our W and we put it into the answer choices as well, and only one of them is gonna give us 143, right? So 100 times uh, 1.43 is 143. This would be 57, this would be 4,300, way too big, and this would be 43. So this is maybe the biggest trap here because they know that you, you see the 43%, but you don't quite understand that they're asking for an increase in that percentage, right? So I think maybe this is where arithmetize helps is if you're unsure, it maybe is easier to kind of just read the sentence as which expression represents the result of increasing 100 by 43%. Now you have a number, you're like, oh, it's got to be bigger than 100, right? I'm increasing it by that. So this choice D doesn't make any sense because that's less, right? So I hope that that's easier to hear. But basically, uh, you do need to be comfortable enough with percentages that you can kind of spot this difference between taking 43% of something versus increasing something by 43% or decreasing something by 43%, which would be choice B here but that does not apply. Hopefully you would not do that. So there's a lot here for just such a simple question, but percentages are one of the places where there's lots of traps on the SAT. So hopefully this little review is enough to make you avoid the trap no matter what method you choose to solve.